Okay, it's kind of a dark, dreary day today out there, and I've been reflecting on something, and I wanted to share it with you a little bit. Um, in 77 days, I'm going to be 70 years old. 70 years old. That's pretty hard to imagine. Um, age really doesn't bother me. Um, you know, I think mentally you always stay. I'm pretty sure I'm about, mm, I used to be 25, I may be 30 now. I'm getting a little older mentally, but I'm certainly not 70 mentally. But reality is people die in their 70s. And my mom passed away of Alzheimer's when she was in her early 70s. And my grandma Reeves, who I adored, passed away, I think she was in her early 70s. People do die in their 70s. I've noticed in the newspaper that obituaries, some of my um, friends that I went to school with are passing away. Some have passed away several years ago. Life goes on. So some of the things I'm reflecting on, by the way, I fully intend to throw myself a 70th birthday party and invite all of my friends. So so I'm just turning 70. It's not going to be a depressing thing for me. It's another excuse for a party. So I will be having a party. Um, one of the goals that I have turning 70 is that I want to stay healthy. You know, I do take different meds. You know, sometimes I forget the meds. So one of my goals is to remember to take my meds. And my niece Catherine is very good about helping me remember that kind of stuff. Um, I want to lose some weight. Uh, I want to walk more. Um, and as I'm reflecting on some of this, um, speaking of walking, I have a tendency that I've noticed um, things are a little different at my age. Uh, if there's a hole out there in the yard anywhere, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find it multiple times a year and end up with a sprained ankle or a sprained knee. So I have plenty of knee braces, ankle braces, elbow brace. <laughs> so, so I kind of have to know my limitations. You know, I notice when I'm, my depth perception's a little off when I go to park. You know, in those, I don't even try to parallel park, but in the parking spaces that are at an angle, I notice that instead of being straight in there, I may be a little bit off. The back end maybe is turned a little bit strange. <laughs> hard to believe that. It's hard to believe that. Um, I have balance issues, you know. Um, I'll walk by a wall and hit the edge of the wall. Uh, don't even, I don't even think about getting on a ladder unless I absolutely have to, and that's only like two steps high, you know. It's just some things you just have to know that you don't do when you're 70 because of the way life is at 70. So, know my limitations. Um, yesterday, I bought a bunch of chicken feed for my chickens. I have 22 chickens. I think I, I unloaded eight or 10 ba 50 pound bags of chicken feed. About all I could do. So, one of my, knowing my limitations is, I'm gonna have to have grandkids or somebody else help me unload that chicken feed. Just the way it is. And then I tilled my garden yesterday, and I have a little mantis tiller, a little lightweight thing you can pick up with one hand, but that thing is powerful. Anyway, by the time I got done tilling that garden, I could barely get off the couch, you know. Just some things I can't do as well as I used to do. So, um, but, but as I'm reflecting on this, I think about what I want to change. And you know, I really like who I am. I really do like who I am and who I have become. I used to be more of a people pleaser. There is not one thing in me that is a people pleaser anymore that, that I'm aware of. I mean, really, I like who I am, and I know not everybody's gonna like everybody, so I may not be your cup of tea, but I do like who I am, and I like who I have become in this day and age that I live now. Um, I really don't care if you don't like me. I, I, I don't want to be cold and, and all of that, but I just really don't care about that, you know. I don't care anymore about 
looking pretty necessarily. Now I want to look nice, but I don't. I could care less about going shopping. Uh, I love pretty fingernails, but at this stage in my life, and it's going into spring. Yesterday I was tilling a cow poop. Yeah, you know, so so pretty nails is not a a big thing, and looking pretty is not an important thing right now. What's important is that I can run that tiller and that I can plant my vegetables and. This year I will be a little more careful and I will wear a hat or a sunbonnet or something so I don't get sunburned all the time. But pretty just isn't, you know, wrinkles don't bother me. Um, you know, just, I guess that's just comes from being this age. Um, I want to do what I love and pass that love on to others, you know. You know that I love gardening, I love canning, I love flowers, I love photography. Um, I love visiting with friends. Kind of just the simple things in life. Sitting on the porch drinking tea, you know, watching the birds. I love to watch birds. And I hope, you know, when I was younger, I didn't have time to do the simple things. And sometimes we're like that. We're, we lead such busy lives that we don't have time to enjoy the simple things in life. And you know, where when I was younger, I worked for a doctor, I worked at the hospital, you know, we had our own business. Um, I had kids to raise and church activities. And so I didn't really get time to do um, the gardening and bird watching and sitting on the porch and you know, life moves on. But I have time to do that now and I'm happy here. You know, I really don't have a desire to travel, um, but, you know, it's, it's my great time in history, you know. Um, and I'm not looking down the road, because I'm content where I'm at, I'm not looking down the road to tomorrow or thinking something's better out there or... Um, Sometimes we do that and we fail to enjoy today, you know. We fail to see what's and enjoy just what we are living today. And so, you know, as I turn 70, I want to enjoy each day, you know. And I, and I want to be secure in, I'm where God wants me, where God has placed me. Now, if God chooses... Um, to uproot me and send me somewhere else. I believe that I will enjoy that. But I'm not necessarily looking down the road all the time for something different because I'm content where I'm at. Um, I want to be a good friend. You know, I, I want to be someone who can be trusted. I want to be someone who can be depended on, who can walk you through the ups and downs of life because let's face it, there are ups and downs in life. There's hurts, there's hard things that we go through. There's, you know, there's, you know, we live in a world that's dying, people die, you know. It's not a depressing thing, it's just part of life. But I wanna be a friend to you that will be there with you as you walk through those things. Um, and I want to be the friend that you know I'm not going to hurt you, that I am there for you. And, you know, I, I'm probably going to be the friend that's going to tell you sometimes what you may not want to hear. It may be hard to hear. I don't want to be a friend that's going to sugarcoat everything for you. Um, I don't want to not sprinkle with what I have to say with mercy and compassion because Jesus does that to us, you know. He um, tells us things sometimes that maybe we don't want to hear, but he does it in a loving way. So I want to be a friend. In the Bible, um, it says that David was a, a friend of God, and I want to be that kind of friend. I, don't, I want to be the kind of friend that you know that I am your friend, but I also want to be the kind of friend that is a friend with God. Um, I want to walk uprightly before God each day. And, you know, God has placed it in our hearts. We know when we have done something that He calls sin. And if He calls it sin in the Bible, it doesn't matter whether you think it's right or you think it's wrong or everybody else is doing it. If He calls it sin, it's sin. And 
um, as humans, we make mistakes. You know, we do sin, but we need to be willing to repent of that sin, not do it again. Stop doing it. You know, if you live in sin, you need to stop doing it. You need to ask forgiveness because um, God sent Jesus blood to be shed for our sin you know he died for our sin so that we could be brought back into right standing it's that blood of Jesus but that blood only covers your sin when you ask forgiveness for it so you know some people don't want to ask forgiveness for sin some people don't want to even acknowledge that what the lifestyle they live is sinful but it doesn't matter you know there's still going to come a day of accounting for your sin you know, so what I want to do is um, stay in right relationship with God. You know, um, when I sin, I want to be convicted of sin. You know, I want to, if there's something in me that is not recognizing that that's sin, I want to be convicted of it. And that's what the Holy Spirit does. Um, I want it to be made right. I want to stop the sin. I want to confess the sin. I want to ask forgiveness for the sin, um, you know, and then I want to turn and walk a different way. And so that's a lifestyle I want. I want to walk uprightly before God. My relationship with God is very important to me. The most important relationship um, that I have. Um, also, you know, I don't want to allow past hurts, sins, mistakes, what ifs, only ifs, uh, dominate my life. You know, I have made mistakes. Um, I've, I've, you know, I've made mistakes that probably will never be corrected, you know. But I want to be able to shake off um, those things and not let them cause me to get into a place of being depressed or um, a, a heaviness come upon you. Um, you know, I trust God to make the road ahead of me straight. You know, as people, we have a tendency to um, we wall round. You know, I want to, from here on out, I want to go straight. I want to have a straight road that I walk down. Um, um, so, um, Everything won't always be as we dreamed. You can hear my phone in the background, but I'm going to ignore it. Um, you know, there may not be no knight in shining armor out there. You know, there may not be this um, one true love. You know, sometimes as, as young people, we think, oh, you know, there's going to be a knight in shining armor that's going to come. And, you know, at 70 years old, I'm, I'm a little more... Mm, Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, it is what it is, that's my favorite saying. Um, so everything won't be as we always dreamed, but God is God, and God always wants the best for us, and you have to believe that. Um, finally, what I'm trying to say here, I guess, is be happy, you know, be happy in your life, be happy. Um, keep life simple. You know, um, walk uprightly before God, ask forgiveness, and stay in right standing with God and your fellow man. Sometimes we have to ask forgiveness from our fellow man. We hurt people, you know. Um, keep a tender heart and show mercy and compassion. You know, what I've learned is, even though I've been hurt by people and I've been hurt by different things in my life, you know, um, if you can see, if you ask God to show you what's in people's hearts, even those that hurt you, you know, it's a lot easier to show mercy and compassion when you see what's in people's hearts and, you know, you see what's hurting them that causes them to hurt others, you know. Um, so anyway, as I turn 70 and I think about these new goals that I made, be making and things that I want to strive to do, um, I realize I live each day as if it could be my last, which it could. Um, I love life on earth. I really am not, you know, 
begging God to take me to heaven because I live life here and I love it. I love it here. I love living life here on earth. And I think that's how God intended it to be. You know, heaven will be a wonderful place. And when he calls me to go, I'll, I'll be excited to go. But life is exciting in the here and now. And so find that excitement. If you don't find life exciting in the here and now, ask God to to work with you, um, to show you how life, your life is meant to be, because He wants us to live a good life. He wants us to trust Him with our life. He wants us to bring people into our lives that enrich our lives, and um, that's what I want to be. I want to be a person that God can maybe bring into your life that's going to enrich your life and make your life better. You know, I don't want to be a person that comes into your life and you think, man, I regret the day I ever met her. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this. But 77 days and I'll be 70 years old. And there'll be a great party in my future. <laughs> Hope you can make it to that party. Have a great day.